Computer Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Negi and I'm an aviation enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about what is VMCG and how is it determined. So let us start the topic. VMCG, the minimum control speed on ground. It is the calibrated airspeed of the aircraft during the takeoff run at which when the critical engine suddenly fails or is made inoperative, it is possible to maintain control or directional control of the airplane just by using the primary aerodynamic control that is the rudder without the use of nose wheel steering to enable the takeoff to be safely continued with the normal piloting skill. So friends, now let us discuss how VMCG is determined. So for that flight tests are done. So before we discuss about the flight tests in detail, certain things need to be known or certain things need to be met before the flight tests are done. Like so we should know what is critical engine. Critical engine. Okay. So critical engine is that engine which when fails it adversely affects the aircraft performance or handling characteristics. So this is what we should know. Okay, next thing. Runway marking for determining the VMCG. So, before the flight tests are done for determining the VMCG, on the runway, a blue line is marked around 5 or 10 meters from the central axis on the opposite side of the engine which is to be shut down. Let's take an example. Suppose we are conducting flight tests for determining the VMCG. So in this, suppose we have planned that we will be switching off right hand side engine. So on the opposite side of right hand side engine, this blue line is drawn okay, which will be 5 meters or 10 meters from the central line of the runway. Okay. So that is the runway marking. Next, engine. So which engine type is used for determining the VMCG? To determine the VMCG, generally the engines which are used are old engines. Why, it's, why is it like this is French? Because for determining the VMCG, there will come a point wherein one of the engine which is producing maximum power is shut down by the pilot by using its master lever. In this we should know that friends, whenever an engine which is producing its maximum power is shut down by using the master switch, there are chances of compression stall and because of which the engine deteriorates. So that's why old engines are preferred for determining the VMCG test. After the VMCG tests are done, these engines are returned back to the manufacturer where they overhaul it. Next thing which we need to know is crosswind. So about crosswinds with respect to the flight tests for determining the VMCG, what we should know? We should know that friends, the crosswinds are not considered whenever flight tests are done for determining the VMCG. Why is it like this? It's because the crosswinds, they create forces or they impose forces on the vertical fin which slightly modifies the lateral deviation of the aircraft during the flight test. Hence, the crosswinds are not considered. So friends, I hope you have understood about these conditions. Okay, These are the conditions which are required to be met while the flight tests are done for determining the VMCG. So now let us discuss how VMCG is determined. Suppose this is the runway. On this runway, suppose this is the center line. On this runway, blue lines are marked from the central axis. Suppose this is the central axis or center line. Suppose I have planned to shut down the right hand side engine. So on the left hand side okay, of the runway, I am drawing a blue line like this. Okay, one at five meters and one more will be there, which will be at around ten meters from the center line. The two lines I am drawing. So it depends on the pilot which line you want to use as a guide. Basically to have precise trajectory while the aircraft will be accelerating on the runway, this blue line is used. So it depends on the pilot which blue line you use. Whether you want to use this blue line or the other blue line. So one of the blue line is 5 meters from the center line and the other is at 10 meters from the center line. Suppose here is the aircraft. Okay. So suppose pilot has chosen this blue line which is 5 meters 
from this center line. This black one is the center line, this is the blue line. So this is the, suppose this is the blue line which pilot is using. Okay. I will repeat again. It is at the discretion of the test pilot which line you want to prefer for taking the reference or for taking the trajectory guide. Okay. So in the cockpit there will be test pilots and test flight engineer. Okay. So what they do is they used to align the aircraft. So first the pilot will align the aircraft on this blue line. Suppose everything has been set for the takeoff rule. So in that case, suppose the pilot has applied the takeoff power, but there is a maximum power like Toga in Airbus A320 we are calling. So that power has been applied. So aircraft will be moving in this center line. So when aircraft will be moving in this center line during the initial phase of the acceleration, okay, while in the takeoff rule, what pilot used to do is they can use the nose wheel steering that is by using the paddles. Why are they using the nose wheel steering during the initial acceleration phase? It's because they may be required to align the aircraft precisely in the path. Okay? Then after 80 knots, what happens is the paddles are disconnected, the nose wheel steering is disconnected and when the aircraft reaches ahead, suppose here at 80 knots has been reached, so after 80 knots what happens is the nose wheel steering is disconnected and the acceleration is continued and after that what happens is so when the aircraft reaches a final target speed suppose at this point the aircraft have reached the final target speed okay whatever has been uh, computed prior to this action prior to conducting this test so when the aircraft reaches the final target speed the other pilot okay he shuts down the engine within the master switch and once the engine is shut down suppose the right hand side engine has been shut down in that case the engine will start moving like this okay it will be deviating from its path so this blue axis or the blue line which i have drawn here is the path or the axis which aircraft was supposed to follow but now the aircraft is being deviated from its path is because of the engine being shut down so once the pilot flying realizes this immediately what he does is he applies maximum pedal deflection so that the aircraft starts moving towards this blue axis or an axis which is parallel to this blue axis okay so when this thing happens this is the end of your vmcg measurement or this is the end of the test so i'll repeat again friends the moment the final target speed is reached okay the other pilot used to shut one of the engines suppose the right hand side engine is being shut down okay using the master lever so when it is done then the aircraft deviates from its path. It's because of the asymmetric thrust that the aircraft is deviating from its path. So when the aircraft is being deviated from its path, as soon as the pilot climb notices the deviation, he applies maximum deflection on the rudder. So when he does that, the aircraft starts moving again to the recovery path, okay, or to the initial trajectory or the initial axis, or it maintains an axis which is parallel to this blue axis. And the maximum deviation which can happen in this here is 30 feet from the path which the aircraft was following. Okay. So this is how the test ends. So this is all because of the VMCT. So friends I hope you have understood what is VMCT. So VMCT is the minimum control speed on ground.